Hello, welcome to Arvinsing Academy. We are discussing a sequential series and this is lecture number 11. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 10 before watching part 11. And this uh, lecture we will discuss about the special sequence and uh, what is the special sequence and what is the use of a special sequence, how to deal with the special sequence. Everything we will discuss in this uh, topic. So a special sequence, a special sequence. In this one, there are some key formulas which you have to learn that uh, first thing that you need to learn is sum of first n natural number, n natural number, sum of first n natural number, natural number is known as n into n plus 1 by 2. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 like this up to n terms, n terms that is first of n natural number and the sum will be equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. This can be also represented as sigma n. So therefore sigma n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. We will consider sigma n means sum of n natural number where n is equal to 1 to n. This is called sigma n. Now similarly, sum of squares of first n natural number, first n natural numbers can be calculated as numbers age like 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square that is equal to n into n plus 1, 2n plus 1 upon 6, right now. So, this is also represented as sigma n square is n into n plus 1, 2n plus 1, whole divided by 6. Similarly, there will be another formula and that formula is called sum of cubes of first n natural number first n natural number natural numbers and that is nothing else but 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube up to n cube is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square and that is also represented as sigma n cube is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square. So we will use all these three formulas and while we will calculate it. Derivation is not required at all. So we are not going to derive them how this formula will come but the application is very important. So you need to memorize all these three formula. This is the third formula, this is the second one and that one is first one. Earlier we have also discussed the sum of an even natural number is um, n into n plus 1 and sum of first n or natural number is n square in very uh, first lecture. So here we will use this how to deal with the questions. Now we are going to discuss questions how it will be used in exercise 9.4 of your booklet. So the very first question is given here that 1 into 2, 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 find the sum of n terms of each of the following. This is what the instruction given. You can write it. Find the sum of find the sum of first n terms n terms of the following series. Following series. Right? This is question first question and first question is nothing else but uh, it is given like 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3, plus 3 into 4, plus 4 into 5, plus like this, up to how many terms? N terms. Right now? So here, uh, first term, we have to uh, analyze what will be the nth term of the sequence. This is the first step, which you need to know. That first step is a combination of product of two terms. Second is also product of two terms. Third is also product of two terms. Each 
term of the sequence is a product of two consecutive terms 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. Also, you will think about uh, the term which start from 1, 2, 3, 4. First term start with 1, second term start with 2, third term start with 3, fourth term start with 4. So, nth term definitely start with n. And what will be the next term? That is 1 more than this. So, n into n plus 1. This is the tn term. You can write it easily by just observation. And that can be written as n square plus n. So, tn is equal to n square plus n. And now, sn is equal to sigma tn and n is equal to 1 to n. It means t1 plus t2 plus t3, isn't it? Up to tn. And that is the sum of n term. If you put n is equal to 1, this will be t1. n is equal to 2, then t2. And n is equal to 3, then t3. So, sn is this much. So, sum of first n term is indeed sn is equal to sigma tn. You can write it or uh, it will be better to understand like sum of n term is nothing else. Um, you can write it like here. Sum of therefore sum of n term is this and that can be written as sigma tn and n is equal to 1 to n. So sum of first n terms you can use it. Now uh, how to deal with this, this situation which is where tn is given. So sn is equal to therefore sn is equal to sigma tn. You will write no need to write here n is equal to 1 to n but uh, you can represent even there is no difference and n is equal to 1 to n. What is that? n square plus n y tn. So that can be written as sigma n square plus sigma n. n is equal to 1 to n. It is understood. n is equal to 1 to n. It is understood. So if you write here n is equal to 1, what will happen? 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square. That is sum of squares of natural number. Similarly, if you put n is equal to 1 here, then it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. That is sum of first n natural number. So, no need to write that. You will write a directly formula. And if you write directly formula, a sigma n square is n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6. And sigma n is n into n plus 1 by 2. So, if we will take n into n plus 1 by 2 common from these two, what we left here? Here it will be 2n plus 1 by 3 left and here everything has been taken common so 1 will left. Now you can simplify it. It will be n into n plus 1 by 2 and that will be 2n plus 1 plus 3 upon 3. So what will be that? n into n plus 1 by 2 into 2n plus 4 in which we can take 2 common. n plus 2 will be left divided by 3, 2 to cancel. And the output is n into n plus 1, n plus 2, whole divided by 3. And that will be the answer of this question. So, I hope you got it. n into n plus 1, n plus 2, divided by 3. Similarly, the second question is, find the sum of n terms of the sequence of the sequence. And sequence is given here like 1 into 2 into 3, 1 into 2 into 3, plus 2 into 3 into 4, 2 into 3 into 4, plus 3 into 4 into 5, like that, up to n terms, right now, n terms. So, in this sequence, it is also a combination of uh, each, each term is a product of three consecutive terms. So, similarly, when we want to write solution, we can write Tn is equal to n because first term first term start with 1, second term start with 2, third term start with 3. So, nth term will start with n. Next term will be 1 more than that. So, n plus 1 and next one is 1 more than the second one that is n plus 2. So, easily it can be written like this. Now, this can be written as n into n square plus 3n plus 2. I made the product of it. And now that is n q plus 3 n square plus 2 n. This is t n. Now to find the sum s n is equal to, we can use therefore s n is equal to sigma t n. And sigma t n is sigma n q plus 3 n square plus 2 n. 
that can be written as sigma n cube plus sigma 3n square plus sigma 2n. Constant can be taken out because there is a n is only variable. So here this will be sigma that will be sigma n cube isn't it. that will be sigma n cube and now this will be sigma n cube plus 3 sigma n square plus 2 sigma n. Now put the value n is equal to 1 to n is understood no need to write it again and again to make it lengthy. Here we can write n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square that will be 3 into n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 upon 6 and this will be 2 times of n into n plus 1 whole divided by 2. So here easily we can take common n into n plus 1 by 2 because it is present in every each one of the term. Here it will be left n into n plus 1 by 2. There are 3 to just 6. So 2 has been taken common. n into n plus 1 by 2 has been taken common. So only 2n plus 1 is left and here all this has been taken common so n into n plus 1 this is what left. So the finally things will come like n into n plus 1 by 2 and that will be n square plus n plus 2 to the 4 n plus 2 plus 1 3 and 3 to the 6 whole divided by 2. So it will be n into n plus 1 and n square plus 5n plus 6 full divided by 4. n square plus 5n plus 6 can be also written as n into n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3 and full divided by 4. That will be the answer of this question because there are two factors of n plus 2 and n plus 3 from quadratic polynomial n square plus 5n plus 6. So that will be answered. You can check your answer by putting n is equal to 1. If it will give the value of first term, then you think that your answer is correct. For example, if I put here n is equal to 1, then 1 plus 3 is 4, 4, 4 cancel and 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 1 is 2 and 1 is 1. So 1 into 2 into 3 is left and this is the first term, 1 into 2 into 3, get it? So you can get it, okay? Now the third question which is given here is uh, find the sum of find the sum of n terms first n terms of following sequence of following sequence right sequence is given here 3 into 1 square 3 into 1 square plus 3 5 into 2 square 5 into 2 square plus 7 into 3 square like that of 2 n terms. To find nth term of the sequence you can deal with this is 3, 5, 7. So let us write here try to understand this how this will be 3, 5, 7 like that these are in AP now. So you can write it nth term of this is a plus n minus 1 into what is d? 2. So you can calculate it 3, 2n minus 2 and what is that 2n plus 1. So first com first uh, component of the any term is 2n plus 1. So here you can analyze and write here that solution can be started from tn is equal to what is that 2n plus 1 right. And the second one in first term this is 1 square, in second term 2 square, in third term 3 square. So in nth term it will be n square. So you can write it easily like this. Now this can be written as 2n cube plus n square. And therefore Sn is equal to sigma 2n tn, sigma tn and uh, sigma tn that is sigma. 2n sq plus n square and what is that sigma 2n q plus sigma n square 2 can be taken outside common so 2 sigma n q plus sigma n square 
the value of that can be written as sigma n q is nothing else n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square isn't it and sigma n square is n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 isn't it so we can now do that by taking n into n plus 1 by 2 common n into n plus 1 by 2 common then what is left here 2 into n into n plus 1 by 2 left that is 2 to cancel and here what will be left 2n plus 1 whole divided by 3 will left so that can be written as n into n plus 1 by 2 and uh, if you took LCM then it will be 3n square plus 3n plus 2n plus 1 whole divided by 3 so that may come so now this will be uh, n into n plus 1 by 2 and 2 and 2 cancels what is left there n into n square plus n plus 2n plus 1 by 3 that will be left now we can go ahead with the, the calculation like n into n plus 1 by 2 into this will be 3n square plus 3n plus 2n plus 1 whole divided by 3 so finally answer will be n into n plus 1 and this will be 3n square plus 5n plus 1 whole divided by 6 that will be answer of this question so i hope you got it now let us discuss question number 4 1 upon 1 into 2 plus 1 upon 2 into 3 plus 1 upon 3 into 4 like this up to n terms right this is a question so can we write like this uh, here tn term first term start with 1 second term start with 2 so here tn term can be written as 1 upon n into n plus 1 can I write like this 1 upon n minus 1 upon n plus 1 I can write it using this and uh, now if I will put t1 then it will be therefore t1 can be written as 1 minus 1 by 2 t2 can be written as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 etc so here the total this expression can be written as this one can be written as 1 minus 1 by 2 that will be 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 that will be 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 and similarly nth term would be 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 this is the sum of n term now we will see that here is uh, 1 by 2 is negative and 1 by 2 is positive similarly 1 by 3 is negative 1 by 3 is positive 1 by 4 is negative and next 1 by 4 will be negative similarly uh, this n plus 1 1 by n is this one first one and last one will left and rest of them will cancel out so here uh, this one will cancel and what is left that will be so the things with left 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 and that will be n plus 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 and what is that n upon n plus 1 that will be answer of this question now next question i would like to take on that is question number five it is given that five square six square seven square five six square six square seven square up to 20 square that you have to calculate this you have to calculate find the value of all this so you can write it like solution solution can be written as here like a 5 square plus 6 square plus 7 square up to 20 square isn't it so that can be written as 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 plus 4 square plus 5 square plus 6 square plus 7 square up to 20 square right minus I can subtract 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square because I have added here all these has been added so we can subtract them now this can be calculated by using sum of a square of a natural number where n is 20 so the formula is given that n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 
sum of a square of n natural number and therefore and also we will use here we will use there so sum of a square of 20 up to 20 natural number this can be a here i can write this one 20 into 20 plus 1 that is 21 into 2 into 20 that is 40 plus 1 41 divided by 6 minus the same formula can be applied here also this is sum of two 4 squares so 4 into 4 plus 1 that is 5 into 4 to j 8 1 9 and whole divided by 6 that is nothing else but uh, this can be cancelled that 3 to j 6 and 10 to j 20 3 can cancel this 7 times so 7 1 j 7 and 7 4 j 28 so 2 8 7 0 minus this can cancel 2 to j 4 and 2 3 j 6 3 3 j 9 so 5 to j 10 10 3 j 30 so what will be answer output is 2 8 4 0 and that will be answer of this question so i hope you un, uh, got all these things now let us solve question number 6 that is 3 into 8 plus 6 into 11 plus 9 into 14 like this this is up to n terms so here 3 6 9 that is multiple of 3 so tn term is equal to solution can be written as tn term is nothing else but 3n 3 times of 1 that is 3 3 times of 2 that is 6 3 times of 3 that is 9 and 8 11 14 8 11 14 like this is the series so what would be the number uh, tn term so tn term will be a plus because they are in a pinna a plus n minus 1 into d and what is that um, 3 3 this so that can be 3n plus 5 right 8 minus 3 that is 5 so this one will be 3n plus 5 that is uh, obviously by observation you can observe it this is 3 and 8 that difference of 5 6 and 11 difference of 5 9 and 14 8, difference of 5 that is second component is 5 more than the first component so you can observe it like oral or you can go ahead with if you are not able to do that directly you can go with this sequence you have heard it and you have learned it now you can multiply these two that will be 3n into 3n is 9n square plus 5 3j 15n right now so sn is equal to therefore sn is equal to sigma tn and that will give sigma 9n square plus sigma 15n and that will be 9 sigma n square plus 15 can be taken out sigma n and therefore uh, that will be 9 times sigma n square is n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 whole divided by 6 plus 15 into n into n plus 1 whole divided by 2 now 3 3 is a 9 and 3 2 is a 6 so n into n plus 1 by 2 can be taken common isn't it and if i will take common n into n plus 1 by 2 then what is left here here there will be left 3 times of 2n plus 1 and plus 15 so that will be n into n plus 1 by 2 into 3 to the 6n plus 3 plus 15 that is 18 so i can take 6 common and if i take 6 common then it will be 6n into n plus 1 into if i will take 6 common then it will be n plus 3 left and divided by 2 2 can cancel this 3 times and so output will be 3n into what will happen 3n into n plus 1 n plus 3 right now that will be the answer of this question so hopefully you got it so now let us discuss some questions and questions are from 7 uh, some more questions that is from question number 7 and the seventh question is here that uh, the question is given that 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and like this this is up to n terms so here tn term is given tn term is first term is 1 square second term contain two uh, terms so, uh, two uh, two part 
three terms, four terms like that. So Tn term must be 1 square, 2 square, 3 square up to n square. Isn't it? We can write it because second term of the sequence up to 2 square, third term up to 3 square, fourth term up to 4 square. So nth term must be up to n square. And that can be written as n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. So this is what Tn? That can be written in simplified form as n into 2n square plus 3n plus 1 and that can be written as further 1 by 6 2n cube plus 3n square plus n isn't it now sn is equal to therefore sn is equal to sigma tn and sigma tn is nothing else 1 by 6 can be taken outside common and that would be 2n square plus 3n square plus n right so can we uh, do it again that uh, writing this 1 by 6 outside of this bracket and here 2 times of sigma n square n cube plus 3 times of sigma n square plus sigma n that we can write now what will happen this will be 1 by 6 2 times of sigma n square sigma n cube is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square right now that is what and sigma n square is n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 whole divided by 6 3 2 just 6 this can be cancelled and sigma n is n into n plus 1 by 2 now we can take out of them n into n plus 1 by 2 common 6 is already there so it will be n into n plus 1 by 12 and what is left here 2 times of n into n plus 1 by 2 will left 2 2 cancels out and here what is left 2n plus 1 will left because n into n plus 1 by 2 has been taken common and what is left from there 1 is left from there so it will be like n into n into n plus 1 by 12 into this will be n square plus n plus 2n plus 2 and finally it will be n into n plus 1 and this will be n square plus 3n plus 2 whole divided by 12 that can be also written as n into n plus 1 and the factor will be again n plus 1 and n plus 2 right divided by 12 so that will be answer n into n plus 1 whole square n plus 2 divided by 12 that will be answer of this question now there are some more questions given find the sum of find the sum of n terms of the following sequence of the following from 8 to 10 which 8 to 10 which nth term is given which nth term are given nth terms are given so for question number 8 nth term is given like nth term is n into tn that is nth term n into n plus 1 n plus 4 so we can do it like n square plus 4n plus n plus 4 so that will be n cube plus 5n square plus 4n now sn is equal to that simple one Therefore, Sn is equal to sigma Tn and sigma n cube plus 3, 5 times of sigma n square, isn't it? We can write it 5 times of sigma n square plus 4 times of sigma n. You know, constant will be taken out. So, that is nothing else n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square sigma n cube plus 5 into n into n plus 1, 2n plus 1, whole divided by 6, plus 4 times of n into n plus 1 by 2. Now, we can write it like a n, n to n plus 1 by 2 can be taken common. So, what is left here? n into n plus 1 by 2 plus here 5 times of 2n plus 1 by 3 will left. 
and here 4 will left. So that can be simplified and uh, that will be the answer. So how can you simplify this? n into n plus 1 by 2 and LCM is 6. So that will be 3n square plus 3n and that will be 2. So 5 to your 10, 10 to your 20 n plus 10 and that will be 3 to just 6, 6 to the 24. So the things will come like it will be n into n plus 1 by 2 and that will be 3n square plus 20 plus 3 is 23 n plus 34 divided by 6 that will be answer. So you can write also here uh, in more systematic way n into n plus 1 and 6 to the 12 into 3 n square into 3 n square plus 23 n plus 34 that will be answer. I hope you got it. Now question number 9 and question number 9 is given that T n is equal to n square plus 2 to the power n. So sigma Sn is equal to sigma Tn. Sn is equal to sigma Tn. So if we we'll put it sigma Tn, that will be sigma n square plus 2 to the power n. That will be sigma n square plus sigma 2 to the power n. And what is n? n is 1 to n. So that will come here. Sigma n square will be n into n plus 1, 2n plus 1 whole divided by 6 but as far as 2 to the power n we will come 2 to the power 1 plus 2 a square plus 2 q up to 2 to the power n right now and that is in gp so one part of that is an ap and another one is gp so apply the sum of n term of gp so what will be the sum sum will be n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 plus this will be 2 into 2 to the power n minus 1 upon 2 minus 1. Sum of n term of gp, you know, sum of n term of gp is a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1, you know. So, this is what have been used here. Now, that will come here n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 whole divided by 6 plus 2 times of 2 to the power n minus 1 because 2 minus 1 is 1 and that will be the answer. More simplification can be done but uh, there is no need. Now one more question is there. Okay. So let us see the question number 10 and question number 10 was uh, Tn is given 2n minus 1 whole square. That can be written as 4n square minus 4n plus 1 and Sn is equal to sigma Tn you know. So that will be sigma 4n square minus 4n plus 1. So that will be 4 times of sigma n square minus 4 times of sigma n plus sigma 1. Sigma 1 is what? 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to n times. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to n times is nothing else but n. So here it can be written as n into n plus 1, 2n plus 1, whole divided by 6 minus 4 sigma n is nothing else but n into n plus 1 by 2 and sigma 1 is n. Now I can take here after simplification I can cancel this 2 to the 4 and 3 and this is 2. We can take maximum n common out of it. So if I will take n common then what will happen 2 times of n plus 1 and 2n plus 1 whole divided by 3 minus 2 times of n plus 1 plus 1 right now i can take lcm and if i'll take lcm then what will happen this will be this will be 2 times of 2n square plus 3n plus 1 and minus lcm is 3 na so that would be 3 to just 6 times of n plus 1 and 3 times of 1 that is 3 and this will come. Now moreover we can write it like n into 4n square 
प्लस सिक्स एन प्लस टू माइनस सिक्स एन माइनस सिक्स प्लस थ्री होल डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री एंड द आउटपुट विल बी एन इन टू फोर एन स्क्वायर सिक्स एन सिक्स एन कैंसिल टू प्लस थ्री इज फाइव फाइव माइनस सिक्स इज माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री सो दैट विल बी आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन आई होप यू गॉट इट राइट ना दैट विल बी आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन Just to if you want to check it, you can put n is equal to one. N is equal to one. Then what will happen? Four into one square that is four. Four minus one is three. Three by three is cancel and one will left. So the first term of the sequence is one will be here. Although it is not given here, but you can put here n is equal to one. Then two minus two into one is two. Two minus one is one. One square is one. So first term is already one. So you can verify like this. I hope you got this, isn't it? Right now, so that's all about this special sequence. In this, you have to first find T n, and then you have to apply the summation series, summation of uh, the terms of T n, and where uh, sum of n natural number, sum of a square of n natural number, sum of cube of natural number. These are the three things, three formulas which you have to uh, keep in mind, and then definitely you will be able to solve this problem. So thank you, thank you very much. If you want to subscribe this channel, please uh, subscribe this and uh, channel, and uh, also press the bell icon for regular update. Thank you, thank you.